Y'all, what I'm about to tell you is really about to change my life and y'all lives watching. This is some crazy news that I really wanted to share. And you know, I haven't been on my channel in a really long time due to me being creatively like blocked because I'm an actress, uh, I'm a comedian. Sometimes I wanna do vlogs, sometimes I wanna do skits. It's just like it's all over the place. And I need a team for that, you know what I'm saying? But this news right now, I had to share it. I had to post this moment. Just give you guys a little bit of backstory. If you guys don't know, I have struggled with my weight for quite some time. I know on camera, it might come off to you guys as comedic, because I'm always joking about it, but internally and off camera, I really struggled with the way I looked and how much weight I gained. It was affecting my mental, it was affecting the way I talk to people the way I acted my hormones what's that feeling in you when you like your sex drive is super low like it was affecting all of that up until I did this raw vegan cleanse and I honestly just want to literally just say shout out to one of my new friends Nadej she got me doing this and she got Natalie doing it and I think this is something life-changing for me I never thought that I would be able to do raw vegan this long but I did and I accomplished it okay and I'm getting somewhere with that guys so with that little bit of backstory, I struggled with my weight for so long and this was the only thing that literally hit. Like y'all know, if you've been following me on Instagram, y'all know, I joked about this cleanse. I was like, y'all, there's no way I could finish it on day three and it was a 10 day cleanse. Like just eating raw food, all I know is cooked food. I know meat, so to, to eat only vegetables and then let alone I can't even eat anything cooked it was mind-boggling but once I got past that hump it was like that's all I wanted to do and for me to love fried chicken y'all know I love my fried chicken that was mind boggling and I think this is the best I've looked in a really long time like I haven't seen my jaw and my neck like you know what I'm saying? A really long time. I'm still in the process of losing weight, but that's not the big news. This was all leading up to the big news, guys. Uh, uh, I didn't think I was gonna get emotional. So I have been wanting surgery uh, for a really long time. I have been wanting surgery for a really long time and a lot of things were stopping me from getting this surgery, especially my weight, because I knew that if I didn't lose weight, that the surgery would possibly not turn out the way I wanted to. So, um, you know, uh, I am finally getting surgery and um, this is like, this is like, this is such an amazing thing for me because my entire life, uh, my mom struggled with it, uh, my aunt, you know, I have really big breasts and um, I'm finally getting a breast reduction and I'm leaving for Miami literally in a few hours. Um, I've been talking to so many doctors, different moments, different time, and it's finally happening. I'm so excited because it's like, you know, I've always had like a hunt. I don't know if you guys can tell, I always try to fix my posture. I'm always trying to like make sure my posture is good, but it's because my boobs are so freaking heavy. Um, I am a double D right now. And you know, I really want to get to a B cup, but you can't promise anything. My mom, she was a, I think she was a, uh, a G. Now she's a, B, a D and a C. So I'm just super excited that I'm gonna uh, get this surgery. The doctor that I'm going to, he's in Miami. His name is Dr. Williams. He did Samarella's uh, breast reduction and I was just like, yo, like I wonder if he could do it. I talked to so many freaking doctors, bro. Since high school, man, I wanted this surgery and it's finally happening. So I'm super excited to announce that I'm getting breast reduction. Um, it's happening this week and I kind of wanted to take you guys along for the journey. I'm sorry. It's just, these are happy tears. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be a thug and not let them fall. But this is something that is so close to my heart. And the only thing that was actually stopping me was my weight. But a huge factor that was stopping me is that I wanted to bear a child. I wanted to have my own children, you know, and I didn't want to risk me not being able to breastfeed. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really until like Natalie, like over the years, she was just like, yo, like you got to be selfish, like live for you now. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is gonna make you happy freaking go for it and i was just like yeah i don't know like you know i just want to be able to naturally breastfeed and what if i can't you know and she's just like just do it i was like well no i want to wait till i'm the perfect weight size because then then i can be able to tell exactly what size my boobs are because when i gain weight my boobs gain weight you know what i'm saying so i lost the weight and i'm finally getting surgery i'm nervous i don't know what could happen you know there's always a what if you know what i'm saying but 
I can't believe it's happening. Let me know too in the comments, like if you guys, if anybody else deals with having really big breasts and wants a breast reduction, watch this video or recommend it to a friend because I'm gonna be documenting the entire process and what's gonna be happening and stuff like that. I am. I've been depressed for a really long time when it comes to my weight and you know, I think I'm gonna be happy. I think I'm gonna have a better posture. I'm just gonna be bright and just more motivated and stuff like that. So I'm about to head to the um, airport, like, but I'm just super excited to take you guys. I just feel like I'm just rambling at this point. If you guys wanna support this journey, just please subscribe to this account. Follow me on Instagram. Spam the likes, spam the comments. We gotta go to the airport. Yo, so I made it to the airport, man. The luggage is about to go down, y'all. It's about to go down. Nervous. And I'm going by myself, so I'm really nervous. But, uh, wish me luck, y'all. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. And I made it to my jammy. Guys, yo, I'm here. I can't believe it's official. I'm going to get a breast reduction. Like, it's happening. I'm getting this surgery, and I've been waiting so freaking long, bro. I'm in Miami, and uh, my surgery isn't actually until a few days, but I literally wanted to, you know, mentally prepare. I didn't want to just hop on a flight and then go get the surgery. I just meant to prepare for this. See a few people, you know what I'm saying, turn up a little bit with these big ass titties. I gotta remember what it's like before they gone. You feel me? It's raining in Miami right now, but it's hot. In like 20 minutes, it's something to be out. You know what I'm saying? But wish me luck, guys. If you guys have any prayers, tips, advice, leave it in the comments below right now. Hold on, hold on. You guys are literally watching this in real time. Like, like today is Monday. It's Monday. It's literally Monday. I'm in my jammy. <sighs> Who stole the purse? I stole the purse. I stole the purse. No. Nope. I stole the purse. No. Nope. I stole the purse. No. Nope. I stole the purse. That's enough. Just like that. <laughs> you must have forgotten. I'm a classic man. Oh, oh hello, ladies. <laughs> uh-uh, move along, Justin Timber. Fake boy, what you want? I'd like to take you out for some fine dining. Boy, this ain't the notebook. That don't work around here, so you can skirt, skirt. Girl, <laughs> is that a shirt? Hey, Rashad. Hey, Rashad. Oh, How you good. been? Oh, I'm fresh out, baby. Him? This is the guy you choose? I miss you. I miss you too. It's a shame. I could have done your taxes and improved your credit. <laughs> Bye, Rashad! Oh, where's she at? Wait a minute! Ain't nobody here. Yeah, move, nigga. Okay, where's she at? You want Toya? No, he ain't. I 
Hold on, let me see. 